Hello, George here. What I'd like to do is I'd like to uh, describe a bit of a recap at first of what happened in uh, November 11. Uh, we, we're looking at the region of the sky, that is about uh, where the constellations Virgo, Libra, and Scorpio are located. And as a recap, you know that Saturn got born in Virgo in November 11. The Sun was in Libra, and Venus and Mercury were in conjunction with Antares and Scorpio. And this was a um, presentation of the first prophecy in the Bible, Genesis 3.15, where the seed of the woman would wound the head of Scorpio. I'll uh, post a link to um, uh, the video where I describe this in more detail. But in general, Saturn is the Lord of the Sabbath, a representation of Jesus the Christ. It's giving where Virgo, the promised seed of the woman, is giving birth uh, to Saturn. Libra represents the redeeming and the sun, the giver of light, which is another title of Jesus the Christ, shows that the giver of light has redeemed us. And Venus, the bright and morning star, also representative of Jesus the Christ. And Mercury, the strong one who comes, also alluding to Jesus the Christ, is in conjunction with Antares, means the wounding, in Scorpio. And Scorpio is uh, means the, the, the scorpion, which represents the Redeemer's conflict, which uh, represents Satan. So what this uh, picture is showing is that the promised seed of the woman has redeemed us and is wounding the head of Satan. And that's round one. Okay, now we have a region of the sky in November 25, which is just yesterday. As a time I'm making uh, this video, it is November 26. Uh, we are looking at a close-up of Scorpio. You will see here that the sun and the moon are in conjunction in Scorpio. And uh, this is uh, a message which uh, says that the sun, the giver of light, which is, represents Jesus the Christ, and the moon sent forth, and uh, Scorpio, which represents Satan, means that the giver of light is sending forth Satan. And I made also a video of this, which I'll post a link of to give the, the details. I want you to notice, uh, just in passing, it's become important when we come to the third slide, is that Venus and Mercury are lining up in a straight line and uh, that will be uh, significant as we go to the next slide. Let's mention it in passing. The names of the stars where the, where the Sun and the Moon are located are also significant. The star which I'm showing uh, with a little circle, a little white circle there to the left of the Sun, the name of that star is called a crab. A crab it means wounding him that cometh. And that's a sign that the giver of light is wounding him that cometh. And wounding him that cometh represents Satan. So he's wounding Satan. The moon is uh, in conjunction with the star Dishuba. Dishuba means forehead. Okay, so the overall meaning of this picture is, is that the giver of light is wounding him that cometh on the forehead and this is a description again uh, um, detail on genesis 3 15 where uh, satan is being uh, uh, where it's prophesied that's, that the, the promised seed of the woman will wound the serpent in the head which will be a fatal wound and well that's round two Okay, now we come to the third slide, and we've uh, moved forward a couple of days to September 27, which at the time of making this video is uh, tomorrow. Now, you'll see here now that the, the Moon and Venus have entered into the um, constellation Sagittarius. Uh, Sagittarius is a picture of a uh, man uh, front and an, an animal back, or it's like a horse back, and it represents 
a, a being with a, a higher and a lower nature. So that is a representation of Jesus the Christ, which is both holy God and holy man. The moon, being which is sent forth, and Venus, which is the bright and morning star, are located in Sagittarius. The meaning of the, of the constellation Sagittarius is derived from its uh, neighboring constellations and the names of the stars that are contained in it. And the meaning of the constellation is called the Redeemer's Triumph. So with the moon and Venus in Sagittarius, the meaning of this um, uh, configuration is that the Redeemer, the bright and morning star, triumph is being sent forth, which is an allusion to the second coming. We also see that the sun is, is still in conjunction with the star, a crab in Scorpio, which means wounding him that cometh. So it shows that Satan has been sent forth and that the Redeemer, Jesus Christ, is wounding him that is being sent forth. You can also notice that Venus, Mercury, and the Sun are in a straight line. Um, Mercury, of course, means the strong one who comes. The straight line indicates an arrow. It's like a flaming arrow. And uh, Sagittarius, the picture is showing um, an arrow being fired at the center of Scorpio. In this case, the, the, this meaning shows that the Redeemer's triumph is being directed against Scorpio, which is uh, Satan. So, okay, so this is round three. So, well... That's interesting, and the sky was actually a lot busier than I originally uh, thought. Uh, definitely, I thought it was very, very busy on November 11, where not only was the gospel presented, and including Genesis 3.15, as well as a presentation of uh, the coming, uh, second coming of Jesus Christ, plus the way in which we were redeemed, but it was also... Um, LNN also used the opportunity to pass by during that time, terminating its own gospel message on November 11. So the first punch, if you like, was the st the definitely the strongest, uh, and the entire sky was involved. Now that doesn't happen. I, I I don't think it happened. I don't think it ever happened before, where all the planets were all doing something and saying something in concert with an integrated message. The next sign is more of a uh, more subtle, where you have the sun and the moon and Scorpio. That indicates that okay, you had the gospel message uh, in November 11, November 25. You have the sign of the start of the tribulation, the Satan being sent forth on uh, November 25, and we had the sun and the moon uh, in Scorpio, which means okay, giver of light sending forth uh, Satan. However, the sun and the moon is also the, the more subtle message there in that in the, it was a partial solar eclipse. And it turns out that when I see uh, the reports of this solar eclipse, that the, the, the lunar the effect of the sun was not very par powerful. So it's as though um, the darkness did not overcome the light, you know. The light shined from the darkness and the darkness did not overcome it, <laughs> you know. Maybe. It probably explains why I didn't get my... Uh, uh, pretty looking fat, uh, solar eclipse because the sun was just overpowering the darkness of the lunar uh, a shadow. Okay, and the stars are significant too because the it's indicating that Satan is wounded in the forehead as prophesied. You know, because it's, that's the prophecy of Genesis 15, right? When the uh, Satan is wounded in the forehead safely, and uh, it, whereas the Jesus the Christ is uh, given a non-fatal uh, wound in the heel, right? And uh, that is an indication that he would be, he would die, uh, 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 you know, crucified, but he would be, he would rise again. He would be resurrected. It's a non-fatal wound. And the third one is, now the introduction of Sagittarius in the picture is also uh, very significant because it, Sagittarius means the Redeemer's triumph. 
and the fact that the moon is there, it's the redemptive traverse triumph is being sent forth. So Satan gets cast down to the earth, but gets defeated by Jesus the Christ. And I think this is a reference to the second coming. Okay, so that's the whole story. It's an integrated story, actually. Uh, the message between November 11 and uh, November 27 is an integrated message of the war between um, uh, that God has declared war on Satan for what Satan has done by um, causing the, the fall of Adam and Eve, of which, and in the middle of that battle is us, the bride that has been formed, the bride of Christ, the the fruits of his uh, of the of what of the finished complete work of Christ, that's us, and we are about uh, so we are in the middle of all this, and we're about uh, to be raptured. So this, what all of this story coming up? Why would this story come up at this particular time? This is not something that is being said that will be said by the stars anytime near because the you see it's a sequence it's in the, it's in the correct sequence and it involves several uh, heavenly bodies operating in concert so this is a looks like a one once ever message a probability of ever occurring again astronomically remote very small I don't think I don't think it's so, and so why is it without stars be saying it now it means that this point in time a very special time in the history of the universe, in the history of creation, in the history of everything. The the rapture of the of, of the of the church, the bride of Christ, seems to to be a very important in God's eyes. Is that why it is the the, the best kept secret? Is that why there's a lot of suspense and drama involved? Well, you know, the, it could mean that the it's all happening now. So definitely, the rapture is very, very near. That's not. It's very difficult to predict because there's still so many signs, and I don't know how this is going to play out. Will it? Will the signs have to complete so that the message, whatever is the, needs to be said, is said, is said, and then we're going, or are we going to be caught in the middle of the message? In a sense, it's so unpredictable. In a sense, a sign cannot really predict the timing. But the sign is there just to show you that, that this point in history is a very, very special time. And so, enjoy the sights. Be ready. This is the time to be very, very ready because this configuration is not happening at all. You know, uh, it, it's, I am, I'm, 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 I'm amazed and I'm, I'm, I wonder what the Holy Spirit is very, so grateful to the Holy Spirit for leading me here. I never thought of looking at this level of detail but it seems that there is things to see in very encouraging very encouraging times to see uh, how the stars are making extra special effort to glorify God at this particular point in time so look up redemption draw at nine right Maranatha see you soon <laughs>